Hello and welcome to another CK3 video. Yes, it's a start of a new series today and the series that we are going to do is be forming Russia. So there is a recommended starting nation to form Russia and we're going to do that because we can get an achievement from that. So we are going to try to form Russia. We actually might go a little past the achievement just to see how good of borders we can get. And if you guys like this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you get notifications of the future episodes. So let's get into it. Okay, this is the guy that we got to play for the achievement. There, He is the nation and here you can see that we have Iron Man mode enabled. Let's do this. So starting off, we actually are a pretty sizable nation, but we have to go from this duchy to this empire. We have to get this. So probably our first task. So we do have the Kingdom of Novgorod. I think we do have to form that title. And I, we can do that right off the start, so we might do that. But we have to go from Novgorod to Russia Empire. And I think we might go past and get some of these empires as well. Just depends how bored we are getting. I know you guys really like the India campaign. So let's just keep going. We can Our player here can marry someone. And I love to go for the inheritable traits. So let's try to see if we can get some good inheritable traits. I mean, go based off of alliance power. So who can we get a high alliance power? They're also good uh, traits. So it looks like we can get quick. Um, we also could go for robust. I think quick's good. So let's go for this quick and uh, alliance here. So send proposal. So we'll get alliance and control traits. Looks like a marshal is our first and we're going to go for. Let's go for dread control. And a big thing to note, we are actually a tribal nation, which is going to be interesting. Just because it's very different from the other playthroughs. We've usually played as a feudal country. We are going to be playing as a tribal country, which might make it a bit more difficult. Okay. So we're over the realm size. I think people... Are a little mad about that but not too much we also can raid which is going to be very cool so if we ever get short on money we can raid people which i really love take concubine um i'm not sure if i'm going to take any concubines just because i don't know if i want to have too many kids can marry oh, we already did that um okay i think i'm gonna be honest i think i'm gonna create this kingdom right off the bat so i'm gonna create it so we are the king of novgorod so that also gives us a, a claim right here to go right away um, for, uh, oh no, we actually can't. So we can't go for a war right away. Excellent. We actually had a decision, adopt a, a special succession type. You're, you pick a form of traditional elective succession based on your culture. Oh, please don't. So th what this is, is that you can like do in a vote for your election. And I have to be honest, I'm a big, not a fan of uh, voting for elections because it can go pretty bad for you pretty fast okay so i think we're going to go for a war right away let's um designate some good old um let's get uh armored bowmen and light footmen and we can start with that um and they actually cost prestige instead of the good old uh what's it called a gold and that's just because of the nation we play as and also doing that title also gave us five five uh domain so we're gonna go after Vodi right away so let's go ahead and uh, make a thing we also have to be careful to not get too negative of prestige but the more we conquest the bigger our prestige is going to be and i think i'm not going to ever try to form feudal i think i'm going to try to treat uh try to stay tribal this entire time and unfortunately i have to pause the video because my cat's trying to get out of my room Okay, my cat's free. We're going to go to war with this nation right away. They have no alliances yet. We have to... Uh, doing a couple of uh, early wars is actually really good in CK3 because alliances won't be made right away. Um, we also You also have to be careful because the alliances can be made while you are at war. Um, I don't think we... Uh, do we have any siege equipment that we can get? Um... I don't know if tribal people can get siege equipment. I'm not sure about that. I could be wrong or we just don't have it researched. We just don't have it researched. So we also, we aren't, we aren't the culture leader. What culture are we? So we're, um, ooh, we're in Norse actually. Very interesting. Um, but our culture for a lot of our land is not Norse. So we're Norse, but we're not Norse interesting i think i think there's a way for me to adopt my culture i'm not sure can't remember if there's a way to adopt culture if there is a way to adopt culture i'm definitely going to adopt russian so we can be more russian 
Um, how many do we have Dutch titles? We have two. I think we can hold three, but I don't want to accidentally have to get rid of one. Okay, so these guys, hopefully they don't suicide into us. So that would, yep, yeah, they're going to suicide right into us. I don't know why. The AI is really dumb. Okay, my wife is pregnant. That's bad. Okay, their army's stacked wiped now, which is good. So we are Norse, but none of our people are Norse. And I don't know if I want to start converting people. How's our religion looking? Religion? Ooh, religion's really bad too. What religion are we? Why am I even ruling this country? We are a very weird religion for the area. So I think we're going to start converting. Not a single thing's correct. Why, why am I your guys' ruler? I actually am not quite sure. I don't understand why I'm your ruler. Um, very interesting. So, I think... I think we're gonna go ahead and just start converting places. Um, it's quite interesting that nothing is correct. I'm not really sure I understand why that is the case. Or how this person, this Norse ruler really even rules this land without everyone wanting to rebel. Yeah, you probably want independence because like, yeah, your culture and religion is very different. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So this war is going to be won and this is going to be the first war we are victorious. Okay, enforce the mans. So be it. Disband. And we have a phone call. Fun. Good old phone call in the middle of recording. You gotta love that. Okay, let's actually give this land away to someone who's our culture and religion, which might be kind of hard to find. So this person's our right religion. Competitive uh, physician. And you're also Norse too. So let's, we're gonna recruit you for three. Let's see if I can find you. And I'm actually gonna give you this title here. So... You can have some land now. Few champions. Okay, so we need more champions. Is that going to cost prestige? Yes, it is. So let's invite some champions. We don't have too many. Tank concubine? No. Dude, look at all these wars. Powerful vassal wants a seat. Are any of you not a powerful vassal? You're not. So we'll actually kick you off and assign you to be the powerful vassal. Nice. Um, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot love you. Now we have a perfect... Ooh. We have sun. This is bad. So this is actually the early start date. So our succession and everything is really, really bad. So we're going to have to work our way up for the succession. Having a bad succession at the start is pretty bad. We do want to get the Russian Empire, but we probably want to go at one kingdom at a time. So I'm thinking we're going to go for this kingdom up here. Um, actually, we could take out Estonia first. No, no, no. We'll, we'll go for this kingdom up here that I definitely can't pronounce. So we're going to go to war with some of these people. So let's declare war. Invade kingdom, we cannot do that. And conquer duchy, we can't do that either. So we can conquer this uh, county though. So let's go ahead and move our troops up there. Um, we don't really need money, so we don't have to raid anyone, which is really good. Uh, so doesn't look like we actually also didn't capture anyone in that war they all they, this guy's actually getting raided right now so let's go ahead and do a war if you see that the uh war cost is super low for prestige and i think that might be because we already have it in our uh focus the yes we already have my uh 50 off so we also have some champions let's uh recruit these people five gold three gold three Dude, these guys are great. Let's raise them. Send the two highest champions back over. Um, it looks like we're gonna actually fight. Uh, they're raiding someone actually. So they came back to defend and we're just gonna kill them. This should be, this should be a very interesting campaign. I actually definitely haven't played as tribal um, for a long time. I did play as this nation one time, so I kind of have a strategy. Let's go ahead and build something. Levies. I think we definitely need to... See, money is not as big of a problem, but prestige is really hard because you have to like balance prestige a lot. I do think we are going to make a holder of this holding. I think gathering halls is probably going to be good because we get prestige for that. So let's build that first. Also give us control growth. 
Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We could actually probably split our army off. So let's station besiegers and take our big chunk um, to another place. Oh, wait. We actually can't. I thought we would be able to. Um, I think we're still going to do it, even though it's going to be bad for us. Um, we'll just lose 100 troops. I don't think they can fight these troops because they have. These are just levies here. Um, I don't think they can fight either. Yeah, they just have 115 bowmen, so we should be good. Um, this is another good champion, so let's recruit him. Dang, everything costs... No one cares about gold. This is going to be a much different playthrough than I'm used to. Just because they don't really give a rats about gold. They care about like everything else. Okay, let's go help them. Do they think they can win? Um, despite the successful besieging of the summit, uh, fortification protecting Swithers of Greater uh, has restrained his troops. The resulting looting has been isolated sporadic. Through your vassal has been spared. The curling eye your personal dominions hungrily. Oh, that's there. They sieged. Uh, we actually should win that battle, no problem. So I could have probably stayed uh, sieging. But I just am double checking. We're getting raided by two people. Yeah, raiding is gonna be our problem. Because there's a lot of people raiding. Oh, we also didn't have a commander. So that might have been why that was, they said we were going to lose. Um, okay, let's go ahead conquer this. I think the raiders are gone. There's always like they stay raiding for a couple months. But really, I think they're gone um you can call ally i don't think we need to what some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone how wrong they are i expect results yes i'm often disappointed after a long day i'm complaining to my wife when she interrupts me let me do something about a husband a few lessons by sharpen their wits so we can do diplomacy martial or intrigue but the intrigue guy will lose opinion of us so i don't think we're going to let's go help the diplomacy ah uh, neither of them are doing anything really right now so let's do marshall just for the lulz actually can we upgrade another building let's um do a gathering halls here as well uh, i think we should still have enough prestige to declare some mores i think this war will actually automatically be over i think we're going to tick up so we could just fight a battle instead, and we're gonna we could win that way, dude. Another person's raiding us. Holy cow! Okay, so this war is over. Despite the settlement, Luki yielding to his arms he has spared the inhabitants of Great Luki for their pillaging, and said he seems intent of acquiring his plunder for me. That fiend, we lose prestige. Ooh, we actually might have to do some looting ourselves because we have uh we do not have that much prestige left okay so go down here i think this should go away we do also want to give that um land to probably this guy because he borders i don't care about but i also don't want to go over the li uh, domain limit too much what is our son focused on i haven't looked at our son our player here is a pretty good marshal again and our other son is intelligent. That's not good. That is... Actually, that is good. So, our... Um, legitimized Bastard. Our player here is a Legitimized Bastard. Which, to be honest, we probably shouldn't have. But, um... What's it called? Our other son, who's really our kid, is intelligent. So, I might do the, the smart thing and disinherit... Um, my legitimate bastard. Uh, lose a house hook. Um, so if we get enough prestige, I might actually get rid of him. But actually, I think we... Why did I go in the water there? Oh, because we have rivers. Ooh, this is one of the first nations I've played that really have rivers, too. Very interesting. Yeah, we're going to disband our troops, or we're going to raise all his raiders. Oh, well, we raised 21 men. So that's probably not the good call. Disband all. So we're going to disband all our troops. And then we're going to raise all of our troops as raiders. Um, let's see what's a good nation to raid. I think we should go after Estonia to raid over here. 15 loot. So yeah, these places actually have some good loot. So we're going to raid over here. Let's um, move our troops over here and raise all the looters. And it's actually good to use all your troops while you're looting because they hold more capacity of gold and prestige. So we're going to rate uh, Estonia and...
probably their neighboring countries. And I think it's, they're both like too weak to defend against us, so we should be good. So let's go ahead, do all that. It's this nation, there's 15 gold there as well. I don't know if we want to go over there. How's this nation? That nation's pretty weak as well. Oh, we're just going to get all this gold and loot it all up. And I like these little like indicators saying that they're looting. Someone's looting over here. Um, 12 gold there. Yeah, let's just keep going. And then after we loot that, we'll loot that. Oh, that's barely, that's ju just been looted. Um, yeah, we'll pick up this three gold here. Why not? And then we'll loop back over here. Um, because this place I don't believe has been looted. No, it has not. I think you get gold and prestige, and if you don't get prestige, I'm gonna feel like a big dumb idiot. The summit of Robin, an important stronghold in Groblin, and has fallen to my readers. We have to run the vast tracts of land and many of the high quivering subjects, shining treasures of high chieftain to choose from. The troops stand ready awaiting my command. Bring me blunders. So decrease it will get popular opinion and get my, but we'll get prestige. Hell yeah. Blunder that. Blunder that. Okay. And then let's, let's go, um, over here. Uh, we can't actually do that. So we have to go here, then here, then here, I think. How much gold we got? Oh, they're holding 60 gold. Nice. Ransom. Yeah, we'll ransom someone off for you. See, the, the, the problem for tribal isn't gold, it's prestige. Yeah, we literally just had this. I don't need to read this again. Okay, then go to this next settlement. Ooh, we actually take some damage. Ooh, I think those guys are uh, going to try to defend against me. I don't think they're going to be able to. I don't know if they're going to suicide into me or what. Ooh, they are. Um, bring back blunder. More soldiers defend. Oh, because they're defenders, technically. Oh, yeah. So we're actually going to run away from them, I think, just because I want to have all this gold and stuff. So let's loop back or over. I don't think they're going to catch up to us. Okay, never mind. They did catch up to us. We did beat them. Um, unfortunately, we lost some stuff, such as an eyeball. So, oh, no, and a leg. So we are now one legged and wounded. That's not good. Adopt special succession type. No, thank you. Um, so we're going to loot this city and then we're going to go back. I don't think we're going to die off of that, because, but there's a possibility that we're going to die. Send for a physician now. Okay, yeah, there's a big chance we're going to die. Oh, 50. Yeah. Uh, do no more than what is necessary to heal me. Hey, lost infected wound, lost trait wounded. Nice. Now we're just one legged. Cool. Um, is there anything on our way? Yeah, I'll go right here, loot that, and then maybe pick up these bottom two places. My wife is pregnant. Hopefully we have a daughter. I didn't realize there's people we could ransom. That was, am I blind? Dude, there's only two things for us to do? Holy cow. Grant title. Who do you want me to grant title to? Who's this guy? Why do you guys want me to grant title to that guy? He, he's not getting it. Um, oh, we actually took someone hostage. Oh, wait a minute. That's how we're getting ransom people by raiding. I forgot about that. You get, you raid people and you take land from them. Never mind. And you take capture. I was very confused. Like, how are we ransoming all these people all of a sudden? Okay, then we're going to raid this and then we're going to be done after this thing. I think we'll get a whole bunch of prestige. However, we are going to need our troops to get back up. Uh, um, yeah, bring them uh, a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Are you gonna fight me again? Yeah, you are, but I don't think you're gonna win again. Don't take my leg away. Oh, I'm one-eyed and wounded again. Okay, I gotta make my guy maybe not the commander anymore because he's starting to get really beat up. Or the strategist now, though. Okay, so we actually do get prestige. I lost the trait wounded and I gained strategist. So now I'm a one-eyed, one-legged um guy natural dread increased ah oh, but natural dread decreased so that goes out we do have zero prowess so hopefully my guy doesn't get into many more scuffles and i can't disband let's go ahead and make 
someone else the commander just because I don't want my guy to die no more. Uh, with the baby in her arms, Queen Ingrid looks up to me, her eyes gleaming with um, burning conviction. Husband dearest, we should name her Frigg in honor of your great goddess. A lovely idea. Yeah, my if my wife wants to name a uh, kid something, I'm I'm down. Um, is there anyone else raiding me? I don't think so. So let's disband. So we're good. Hey, 50 gold for my wife. Now we have a ton of prestige, so I think we can also build out some land. I don't want to give away, build out anything that I'm going to give away potentially. Also, let's increase our characters can be in prison. Tribal rules with non-tribal leaders may settle becoming feudal clan. Yeah, pass. So we're going to increase that. Um, does any hair? We have to absolute. Okay. I think we do need to change this to... Um, I do not have feudal or clan government. Oh, we actually... Okay, maybe we won't be tribal. I forgot. We can't change successions, titles, or anything. So there's a chance that we will decrease. So adopt feudal ways. Um, we have to do absolute tribal authority. Uh, is organized faith development. It's, ooh, there's a lot we have to do. So actually, we probably will adopt feudal ways. We'll, we just got to really work up to it potentially okay so we have a whole bunch of prestige we can maybe make a building or two but not in those lands so do a building here let's do uh let's also do gathering hall gathering halls i really like give levies and prestige bonus so we can do more minute arms so okay who do we want to go to war with do we have a truce with these guys not anymore okay so we're probably gonna go to war with these guys again i think it's actually a different nation i think they split in half um so let's go we re oh we really we really actually probably do need to adopt feudal ways so what's on our agenda to adopt feudal ways so organized faith is a religious higher worship practice unreformed pagan faiths can be organized by reforming while other faiths are always considered organizing Huh. So we have to organize our faith. Reform. Um, each ruler can only create or reform a faith once. So we have to get a lot of piety to reform our faith. So let's start saving up some piety. We actually probably need a learning ruler. So we're going to try to work for a learning ruler and make him like super virtuous. Let's go ahead and do some more expanding in this episode. We can subjugate. Oh, yeah, let's just subjugate this guy. Declare war. I didn't realize we could just do subjugation wars. So we're going to go ahead and subjugate this guy. Should be no problem, this war. I don't think he has any allies. Let's ransom. Concubines? No, no, no. Convert county. We're already converting some counties. We also need development growth. So where do we need our development growth? Because we want to do feudal ways. Um... The development level in Chiefdom of Novgrad. So we want to go there. The Chiefdom of Novgrad is right there. So let's go ahead and increase that development. I don't think it changes. So we're going to increase development there. Currently the development in Novgrad is absolute uh, garbage. But we're going to increase that development to above zero. Because it's currently at zero. It's also Russian. More Norse. I probably will convert religion in this game if we have the chance, unless it's like a really dumb religion, but I probably will convert just because I think it makes sense. And also we don't want to expand too fast because I love expanding too fast, but I don't want to. Okay, we literally got the ruler, so enforce demands. That guy is now our vassal. Disband. Awesome. But we just ran out of prestige now. I'm guessing subjugating costs a lot of prestige yeah but i think it's worth um for bigger nations like if we did minsk and did like a subjugate yeah that would be that would be a good war to subjugate known for our dedication to faith nice are we old no we're 42 we're pretty young um now we need prestige again okay let's see if we can see anyone that's non-looted you're looted um, the north seems kind of looted. Mm, maybe not. You're like partially looted. You're looted for sure. Um, oh, they kind of seem looted. This nation just seems like we have no gold. So in this nation, we can maybe loot. 
They actually are pretty powerful. I don't know if it's a good idea to loot them. Decisions, Wars, Great Duchy, um, Powerful Vassal. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna do Raid to get some prestige. There's gonna be a lot of raiding in this, uh, this series for sure. So we're gonna wait till our army is completely built up and then we're gonna go ahead and go on some more raids to get our prestige going. This is gonna be a fun campaign. Um, we're already looking really big. We're gonna have- the, the problem is, is the civil conflicts are gonna be really bad because we're tribal. Oh, we're tribal, yeah, yeah. Since we're tribal, like, succession is gonna be completely awful. Literally, there's gonna be a succession war, probably every ruler death. Um, it's gonna be very hard to not do it, especially because to disinherit, you need to do prestige, and the chance of us, um, doing that is very low. So this son, I want him, his focus to probably be learning, um, because I want to reform our religion. So I'm going to go ahead and do learning, because I really want him to be religious. Um, because I think that's something we should do right away if we want to adopt feudalism. Because if we adopt feudalism, it would make our life a lot easier, but it would be, it's going to take a while. So raise raiders. We need to combine these armies, even though they're not. If we don't have them combined, it's going to be a lot harder. We're probably just attrition them down. Um, so let's go ahead, start raiding. Get some gold. Has this nation been raided or not? That nation hasn't. And this nation hasn't been either. So we'll go ahead and raid these places. We get a Marshall Turk, and I think we're gonna go with, um... We're not going to go for Gallant because we have so many health penalties already. There's no way we're going to get that um, fighting ability. They also raid so fast. So raiding is definitely OP in this game. It's definitely something really good to do. So we're just... I wish you could do like... I think there is a shift command. If you know how to like... Um, set up raids to go between nations. Ooh, let's actually go right here. Where, like, you'll automatically move after you're done raiding. Please let me know in the comments. Um, guardian for my son. We need a learning expert. You're actually pretty good. Um, my wife is pregnant again. Hopefully she does not have a... Oh, you're raiding them. Yo, this guy's a jerk. I want to raid them. Um, can I raid them too so I don't get, like, the... The minus. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're actually gonna fight them as well because they're gonna be pretty weak. So we're gonna insta fight them. Oh wait, we can fight them together. I didn't realize that. So someone died. My quarter steward. Ooh. Let's recruit this guy actually for 18. That's pretty good. And then let's go here. We're gonna lose some, it's 15 gold. Oh, this is actually 15 gold up here. So let's go up there for the 15 gold. Keep looting. I think someone's raiding me potentially. Are you raiding me? No, it doesn't look like it. Because my vassals can raid as well. Um, I think that's peasant rebel. Yeah, peasant rebel is happening. You can actually do some control. I wasn't paying attention. Let's do a Vodi. Um yo, bring me that bounteous blunder. Heck yeah. You can actually get so much prestige, it's insane. 15 13 gold, that's pretty good. Um, three gold? Is there gold here? No, three gold, so we don't want to go that way. And 15 gold, so we'll go north after this. I think we'll go north. Get to this place up here. Um, that is an annoying interaction that will keep on happening. With cradle in her arms, Queen looks at my face. My love, can we name her Alana after my sensible mother? Yeah, I love that idea. Why don't you do that? Um, okay. So, are my people doing stuff? Yeah, they, everyone's doing something besides the people that really don't do much. Um, yo, you can integrate the title becomes... Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll integrate it. Why not? 69 years. See, that's not even worth it. Okay, just make everyone happy. Yeah, Bountiless Blender. That's going to be so annoying on rating if that keeps happening. Okay, we need to go back home because we are starting to suffer a lot of attrition. Um, so we're going to go back home. We're going to go on the good old boat back to the home. We got to Scandinavia and we 
did some stuff. I wish there was like naval battles if I... That would be cool to have some sort of naval battles. So let's get back to land. Our attrition is pretty bad. Um, we will get a good amount of prestige. Um, never a peasant's lot. Yeah, screw the peasants. Let's actually call our ally just to help with the peasant's lot. Excellent. Um, let's go whack him. We actually have a couple. My wife is pregnant again. This is what I'm saying about not wanting to have concubines. If I was having concubines, I'd have so many kids already, it would be horrible. So, let's go deal with them. Why is that there? Uh, so, just... Where, where's the other one going? Hello? Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna go... I, I don't know what that, uh, peasant's doing. Um, the smell hits me before it's opened a door. A heavy and meaty odor that permeates the area. It is the center of a newly dead. Another murder, my lord. Saigo wipes her bloody hands. And apparently she stands after looking over the body. We must stop the senseless killer. I will score the castle for the murder. Let's bury the body and forget the treasure. It's my call for you should study the bodies. Yeah, study the bodies. What can you tell us? Okay, I think we actually stopped that peasant vault barely. Barely. Just at the right time. And so be it. Who's raiding us? They down there. So let's stop this raider. Because I think if you kill the raiders, you actually get your gold back. So, let's do that. We're going to actually go here. Oh, wait. They, they lost. Well, that sucks. Now we can't kill them. Because someone else killed them. Is someone else killing the raiders up here? Dang, I think my levies were like killing all the raiders. My daughter, Ingrid, you've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe what you love. Now we have a perfect little daughter. Nice, makes you grow strong and wise. Ooh, name's Christina. I can pronounce that. Marshall Perk, let's do that. A man's home, controlled territory. Uh, yes. Okay, let's stop these raids, and then I think it's going to be the end of the video. Um, and it looks like we're doing pretty good, actually. Um for the start. I gained wounded. Of course I did. Of course I gained wounded. I killed someone, but I, I am wounded. So disband army. Right? We can disband army. And I lost a... Tr Dude, my physician is amazing. Literally right after I... Or I thought this other raiding went away. Let's disband army. Okay. So that's it for this first episode. We are expanding quite well. We already got a whole bunch of territories. We vassalized someone. We are already getting work to adopting uh, the feudal ways. I think it would just be easier. But to be honest, to adopt the feudal ways, we have a long path in front of us. We can also restore Danlaw, which would we would have to go after. That, that sounds very difficult. I don't know if we'll do that, but we are going to form Russia as this guy. Um, okay, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you like this series. I will see you in a future episode. There'll be a playlist down in the description below for you to follow along. See you later. Bye and have a good one.